Here's my next video for arc shoot. And last time we left off with a directional light, a main camera, and the player ship. And today we're going to get into some JavaScripting. We're going to create some controls for the player ship and change the viewport of the camera so that it looks a little narrower and taller like uh, an arcade shooter might. First I'm going to save the scene as level 1. We could really call it anything that we want and we can change it later if we'd like. Next thing I'm going to do is create a JavaScript. Now that's in the project pane here under create and JavaScript. I'm going to name it ship. I usually name my scripts for the thing that I attach it to. And in the inspector, we can see now that the ship object has this new component to it. Now we can open up the editor and edit the script directly by double clicking it there. And what I want to do is have the mouse control where the ship goes. And I can do that by uh, using the camera coordinates. So I need to declare a variable just call it my camera. It is of object type camera. And in the update function, I want to capture the coordinates of where my mouse position is every frame and move my ship to that position. So I can do that by declaring another variable. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it vec or vector. It's going to be a uh, three vector because of the x, y, z coordinates. So I need to declare it as vector three. And I want to set it equal to my camera dot. And now I'm going to call the function that uh, is a part of the camera class screen to world point. And what that does is it takes the 2D coordinates on your screen and it converts them into XYZ. And we want to read in from the mouse. So we're going to do input mouse position. Okay. Now I don't know what that's going to do to the Z, but I know that I want my Z to be zero. So I'm going to say vec.z equal zero, point zero. That's going to happen every frame. Now I don't have to declare the vec.z because Z is already a member of the vec variable. Now I want to take that vector, the vec, and um, set my transform position equal to it. So this is my ship because the uh, ship script is attached to my player ship right now. So if I do transform dot position equals vec, then that is going to move my ship to that position. So I'm going to save I'm going to go into Unity, and I want to make sure that I have my um, camera set to the main camera. So I do that here by dragging main camera down onto that variable. And here's something important to notice, that when I declare something at the um, in the JavaScript, that it appears in Unity in this uh, part of the inspector so that I can edit that. If it's a, a variable of another kind of uh, integer or float or something like that, I can change that out here. We'll see that in uh, a couple minutes. So now I should be able to play. And my ship follows my mouse position. <coughs> That's exactly what I wanted. But the screen is a little bit too wide for how I want it, and also our ship can go off the screen, and we don't want that, so we need to fix both of those things. First of all, let's make sure that the ship will stay on the screen. I'm going to go out of the play mode, I'm going to go back into here, and I don't know how wide I want it yet, we'll have to check that out, but I'm going to call, I'm going to declare a variable side 
this will just be my side to side um, parameter and I want to set it equal to I don't know what yet let's do 0 0.8 not 0 0.8 8 0.0 the 0 0.8 is the two-dimensional screen coordinates they go from 0 to 1 but the number that I need to put in here is going to be um, in the world coordinates so those are going to take on units of meters and I know my cube is about one meter so we'll start off at around eight I'm going to do another variable called top and let's just set this to about eight well, I know that I want this to be taller so we'll see how, what this turns out to be in a minute okay so I want to make sure that my um, my vec dot x is clamped equals math f dot clamp and the three parameters for this function are the variable that you want to clamp which is vec dot x and now the two uh, bounding numbers so I want to use negative side so this will be left some number of meters and now right some number of meters and because I want my uh, coordinates to be centered around the origin um, I've set it up that way so that I can use uh, plus or minus whatever this number is side and plus or minus top for y so let's do vec dot y equals math f dot clamp vec dot y and we'll go negative top to top and save so let's go back into unity and play the scene okay now let's check what happens when I go to side to side alright well I'm hitting this side here it still lets me go up and down but it has clamped the left position now it's clamping the right position so that's good and let's see top and bottom those are pretty good guess those about right on the first try but I know that I'm gonna narrow in my screen so this uh, 8 for the side variable might be okay, okay I'm gonna un unplay there alright now what I want to do is create another JavaScript this is gonna be for my camera to resize it now you can go into the inspector and uh, what we're going to do is watch this camera preview down here and watch its size change so I'm going to move my cursor just to the left of that number I can type in a number I can also drag here to make it um, uh, change left and right so I don't see it changing oh maybe it's the width first Okay, so that'll make it skinnier, and then this X position is going to be where it appears on the play screen. So here we're in the scene view, and we won't be able to see it change. But let's see what it looks like with just those changes. So that would be about right for my negative um, 8 and positive 8. But I want to make sure that it's um, centered, and I'm going to do that in a script so that I can change it later. And I'll have to do it in the inspector. So I'm going to set this back to zero and one. And I'm going to create a new JavaScript. I'm going to call this main camera. <clears throat> I immediately attach it to where it's supposed to be attached so that I don't forget later. Although if you forget, the compiler will tell you, because it won't be able to run. All right, so in the main camera now, I'm going to open this in my editor. And I want this change to only happen once when the game starts. So the function start is going to happen right when the game loads. And that's where I want to do the change of the viewport coordinates. I'm going to have some variables in here. A width variable it's going to be a float now this is going to be uh, we'll have to change it but 